Miss Paris. Oh, it's looking lovely. Look at the new growth. Oh, doesn't it look good? It likes it in this pot. It's looking lovely. Lots of new growth coming. Happy. Need to feed that. Top this compost up. Give it some more ericaceous. Keep it happy. Things are starting to come. Look. Ooh, daffies. And this won't be long. Azalea. It's happy in there. Can't wait to see that. And that's Olivia. She's doing okay, look. This is Nuccio's cameo in here, <laughs> if you can see it. I'll have to cut it and take it in the house because I'm not going to come and scramble under here. This hasn't done as well as donation, but um, I only appear to have flowers on the east facing side of Nuccio's cameo but look at that is it worth it for that one flower I don't know <laughs> I don't I really don't know but I don't appear to have any and there's a bud in there if you can see right down in there look there's a bud will it flower I don't know it's buried so if it does I won't see it but this seems to be the extent of what I've got. It did only go in here uh, last summer. And um, I've been amending the soil and feeding it. And th there are buds down here, look. I don't know if you can see there. There's a bud there. And there's another one there. But these are all on the east. Because that's east <laughs> they're all on east facing I don't appear to have anything I mean there's something there but again it's east see that looks that looks like it's been got doesn't it can you see that bud there looks like it's been got frosted so I can show you two that's all two two flowers and the promise of one here and some more down there but um, very disappointing and the one that's buried down in there probably won't see anything from that disappointing but we'll have to see is it worth it do I persevere yeah I have to I have to give it a pass this year because it only went in yes last year so anyway, I'll see. So that's Nuccio's cameo. <laughs> Big disappointment <laughs> from my neighbour June. <laughs> Look at them, aren't they pretty? There's a couple here and I put three of them at the back. Lovely, aren't they? Roses have got some nice leaves coming. That's Harry Edland. And that's a, a double, double purple one. My husband liked. I don't think it's anything I've heard of, but anyway, it's a double purple. So it'll go quite nice with Harry Edland because he's sort of lilac-y. Sweet honey, look, she's she's off and running, isn't she? Cut the leaves on her. Happy. Lovely fairy. That's an almost dead salvia there. Clematis coming up there, there's three of them. Who have I put in there? Looks like Daniel Duronda, Azara, and I think that's Bees Jubilee. They're Bees Jubilee I put in last year. This is uh, Comte de Chambord here. That's a crazy for you. That's doing well, isn't it? And this is Blush Noisette. 
put that in last year. That's doing good. Look at that. And uh, what have we got here? Who's this? Oh yeah, this is Pastella in here. Baby one just got that this year. And that's a Jacques Cartier there. Here we've got um, a Timeless Pink. Need to come and weed this bed, not touch this bed. Oh, the birds are at it again. I keep pushing. <laughs> I keep, I keep pushing this back on, this end trim <laughs> on the house. I keep pushing that back on and the birds keep pushing it back out again. The, the nesting up there just on those end caps. This is doing okay. It survived winter because it was quite mild, wasn't it? But look in there. It's, uh, it's doing okay. It's liking it here. That's good. I need to sort these uh, ferns out. You can tell I haven't spent much time around here, can't you? There's a few frizzle sizzles in here. A skimmier, a bit of ivy and another frizzle sizzle there. Look how pretty. Aren't they good? They're so lovely. But I do need to come and sort this bed out. This is Eyes For You, which is leafing out beautifully. Need to get my hoe on this bed. I will be out here. It's on the list. The back is almost finished. It's on the list. I'm busy with potting on and stuff at the moment. I've loads of seeds and ah, uh, there's a lot to do. And if this rain can just stay away and let me get in the garden. This is Peachy. She's coming on nice. And this is Ghislaine. This is a cutting of the Ghislaine that's around the back on the rose arch, a big one. And she's leaping out beautifully. Uh, oh, hello, you're having a little rest. We've got a creature look. Hello, good morning. And this Clematis that's in with Ghislaine is a uh, Rhapsody. And that's uh, looking Pretty good. Pretty good. Happy about that. Mm. This is the new bed. Look, summer romance I got from JJ's doing good. Elizabeth, Silas Manor over there, look. Settling in, budding up. Very nice, this is Penelope Lively. These are the last of my leeks, which are gonna be dug up and this is gonna be a cut flower bed this year. This hedge is full of birds, this hedge. Chirpy, chirpy, all day long. All you can hear is chirpy, chirpy, chirpy and you see these little faces staring back out at you. So are you bringing any seed out for us? The happy little things. They're very happy. This is another fatsia here. It's doing all right, isn't it? I've put Darius clematis back there and there's an obelisk going in here that I need to make up that's in the garage. And that's in with a, a white Eden. They'll be climbing a lovely obelisk. And then we have, who is here? Who have I planted here? Oh, Claire Renaissance is here, leafing out nice. And then we have Augusta Louise. And at the back we have a climber there, Colette, which is going to climb up this, this huge Escalonia. <laughs> and of course we've got Ghislaine here, along with a Budlia that's been chopped back. And here we have a bouquet parfait and some hardy geraniums, some phlox and that's a philadelphus virginal that's leafing out. Who have we got here? Margaret Merrill's leafing out beautifully. And we have more clematis here. That might be Deu down there. And I think at the end it's uh, Ooh La La. And this one I'm not sure who I put in. There is a 
let me see if I can get in there and see what that sticker says that I've put in. Oh, I know what it is. It's Ninion, which is a white one. I think they're all Raymond Davison's actually, those. Um, that's uh, Norma, which was the lady that used to live here. It was growing over the fence, so I call it Norma. I've no idea what it is, but it's cherry coloured. It's beautiful. And here, of course, we have Rural England, which is doing great here. And then here underneath we have England's Rose. I really fell for this at David Austin's. I had to have it. I sat on a little wall next to it and the smell was just, oh, wonderful. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I'm over the moon with this rose. With Portentilla there, Pink Beauty. That's a Choicier. It's a White Dazzler. And over there we have Mummy in a Million. These uh, these will be antirhinums probably that have survived the winter. Amazingly hardy. That's a Lavatera, a Burgundy wine. I'll chop back down. That will be up to the top of this this year. And this is a Jacques Cartier. And this I call Judy's Rose because. Judy next door gave it to me, she didn't know what it was. But it's pretty, it's pink and it has a nice fragrance, so it's a very delicate one. It's a small one, so I don't know if it's a patio rose or just a really tiny floribunda or something, but it's lovely, it's really nice. So that's that's Judy Rose. This is our Beth. I love our Beth, it's beautiful. Lovely fragrance and a pretty rose. That's leafing out particularly well, isn't it? It's looking lovely. Yeah, we're doing okay. This has not fared very well. Hopefully new ones will come when these have flowered and I'm, I'll chop those back, but I need to wear gloves for these. This is a euphorbia. They can burn your skin, so I need to get my gloves on and chop that back because it's there are buds lower down, but it's not fared very well, as you can see. Um, Irene Watts here, leafing out, lovely, very nice. And then here we have what was supposed to be waltz thyme, but it's pink. Anyway, and it has a fragrance. And this is Daphne. This is eternal fragrance. And my original Daphne died. It, it, it took a turn for the worse at the end of last year. And I dug it up and moved it and put it in a bit of a nursery bed. But it's not made it through the winter. So I'm really glad that I'm a propagating nutter <laughs> and I propagate everything I take cuttings of everything <laughs> like um, I don't know like I'm obsessed um, and I'm really glad in this case that I did because I still have um, an eternal fragrance Daphne and I've got another one in the greenhouse a smaller one than this so um yeah, being a being a propagating addict has its massive downfalls because you've got tons and tons of stuff <laughs> to pass on or give away or howls. <laughs> um, but um, for this occasion, it's been great because I've still got one. And as you can see, she's about to flower. And here we have more icebergs. They're doing quite well. Leafing out pretty good. And we're making it up onto the top of this rose arch now. We've got up there and we're up there with good company at the moment because this is an evergreen clematis called apple blossom and it has a lovely perfume really sweet beautiful perfume and it's stunning an iceberg um, is up there meeting it which is lovely happy about that look at all these buds in here ooh, ooh. <laughs> gorgeous isn't that lovely that is so so pretty and it's happy, healthy. And I planted around the back um, 
Who did I plant around the back? I don't know if it's Bees Jubilee or it might be Carnaby around the back, which is, um, it's not group one, it's a group two. Here it is coming, look. Lovely. There's another clematis here, look. Buds starting all over this. Look at this. And that one is Carnaby, I think. Let's just ignore the dirty greenhouse. This We're waiting for a really nice, fine, dry day when we're not busy doing other things. Waiting for a really nice, dry day to get in and clean this greenhouse. But I need to empty it because, as you can see, it's just... just I mean, this is how I am at the moment. You know, what's and all. Oh, that's a pot of uh, nasturtiums for my mother-in-law. Mad. Can't get in. I can't get in this place for the stuff. And don't ask me about my sunroom. Because my sunroom is um, sort of out of bounds as well at the moment. It's crazy. <sighs> Not good. And this, I don't know what this is. I thought this was a pink iceberg. But I've had a really close look at pink iceberg on the internet. On Help Me Find and, you know, places like that. And these flowers on this particular rose do not look anything like pink iceberg so i also bought <laughs> to make up for this um aloha which is a pink climbing rose which i thought would kind of mingle well with this we've got this pink rose doing its thing here and then it will kind of just meld in with um, aloha there and then I will have a climbing rose going up here but aloha was very slow last year um, and didn't really do very much at all so I don't know how quick that's going to get about its business but it's leafing out beautifully this year I don't know and this is multi blue which is clematis and this is gyrenus which is another clematis so we'll see but my idea of having three rose arches full of roses and clematis is sort of it's slow in the making but then gardening is isn't it so this is elizabeth this is elizabeth the second there's elizabeth the first around the front another potentilla pink beauty more tubs of tulips here <laughs> these are all the ones i did at the end of last year there, Winston Churchill there, um, Daffy's I think in there. And that is Comtesse de Bouchard and it's in with New Dawn. This is New Dawn that I planted last year. Hopefully that will do something good. This is Ballerina and then we have Strawberry Hill leafing out here. starting hopefully get something good from that and here we have Polish spirit clematis and this is crazy in love which is a beautiful rose I love the smell of this stunning rose gorgeous and who else do we have down here and this is Boldenige. And here are some more of those denticulatas that June gave me on Sunday. Aren't they bonny? And Clematis, which is here, as you can just see budding here and that is a 12 violet ah, look gorgeous girl she's uh, she's looking pretty good leafing out nice not bad 
not bad. And looky here, just look what we have here. Oh, <laughs> oh, that looks good, doesn't it? And look, not the only one. Look. Very exciting. <laughs> Hopefully over the next year or two, I can take some of the oldest canes out as I have been doing. And um, we'll be rejuvenating her. But I'm trying to go slowly so that I don't, um, I don't cause her too much shock. But these new canes, they're looking good, aren't they? and reshaping her is going to take a while but it's patience isn't it? i just need to be patient and just take my time with it see how i go emily leafing out looking pretty good of course gillane look at gillane she's looking mighty fine Very nice. Woo woo. Exciting. Uh, it's so wonderful. This time of year is so wonderful. Promise of what's to come. It's going to be lovely. Very nice. Things are sort of waking up, aren't they? This honeysuckle's looking okay. And it's right up there now. 